Hello, this video will help you to familiarize yourself with the admin page in Nagios XI. To access the admin page, you would simply click on the admin link in the top menu bar. The administration section allows us to control settings specific to the Nagios XI server itself. You can see the admin task dashlet, which provides important and ongoing tasks on the system, and the XI system component dashlet for viewing the status on the various XI components. By clicking on the system status, you will be shown the current status of the Nagios XI system's basic component, as well as some server hardware statistics. The Monitoring Engine Status page allows you to view the status of and control more detailed portions of the XI processes, as well as seeing how many checks are being run and how long it takes them to be run. The Audit Log page is a Nagios XI Enterprise Edition feature. This will allow you to see any log system changes by any other users. This can be very useful for tracking down when and how changes occurred that were not planned. You also have the Check for Updates page, which allows you to verify that you have the most current version of Nagios XI. The Manage Users page allows you to add and edit additional interface users. The LDAP and Active Directory integration feature allows you to add authentication servers and certificates to Nagios XI for integration. Another Enterprise Edition feature is Notification Settings Management. This page allows the base user email settings to be changed and pushed to multiple users at once. The System Settings page allows us to change the Nagios server's URL as well as basic administrator information. The License Information page allows you to view your Nagios XI license. The Proxy Configuration page can be used to configure a Nagios XI server in a proxy environment. System Profile will show us details on a server that Nagios XI is running on as well as allow us to download the profile. This feature is used by Nagios XI support members to gather your latest snapshot as well as basic logging information. This can also be used by an administrator to help in troubleshooting. The Manage Email Settings page will assist you in configuring your system's email settings. For instance, if your network requires you to use an SMTP relay to pass email credentials, you would be able to add that information here. Similarly, Manage Mobile Carriers Settings allows you to change email to text message settings based on your carrier. Performance Settings allows you to set the refresh rate of dashlets, configure the database trimming scripts and settings, and change a few subsystem processes. The Automatic Login page provides you options to configure user accounts to automatically log in visitors. Visitors can log out of the default account into their own if they wish. Resetting the security credentials can be done via the Reset Security Credentials page. This form is used to reset various internal security credentials used by your XI system. This is an important step to ensure your XI system does not use default passwords or tokens, which may leave it open to a security breach. The SSH terminal provides you with a convenient web-based session to the terminal of your Nagios XI server. You can log into your XI server using this interface to perform upgrades, run diagnostics, and more. The Configuration Snapshots page showcases the config snapshots, which are taken every time a configuration is applied. If a mistake is made or you wish to revert your changes, you can do so via the various options to the right of the snapshot. The Check File Permissions page. The Check Permissions page allows the system to automatically check and verify that config script permissions and config file permissions are set up appropriately for Nagios XI to operate. The NRDS Configuration Manager allows admins to manage Nagios Remote Data Center config files to be distributed to remote clients. You can create config files and edit current config files via the options to the right of the configuration. The Unconfigured Objects page shows hosts and services that check results have been received for, but which have not yet been configured in Nagios. You can edit these files via the options on the right. The Nagios Reactor Integration page contains the global event handlers, host and service event handlers, and reactor instances that you have set up to be integrated from Nagios Reactor to Nagios XI. The Deadpool Settings page can be used to automatically delete hosts and services that are in problem states longer than the thresholds you specified. This is useful for automatically cleaning your monitoring system of hosts and services that no longer exist or are invalid. The Outbound Transfers page allows the Nagios XI admin to forward its hosts and servers information, as well as checks, to another Nagios XI server. On the second server, you would set the inbound transfers to be received on the first server. These options are great for large environments with multiple XI servers. The Manage Components page allows us to manage the components installed on the system. 
you can update the current components, install custom components from the Nagios Exchange, check for updates, and install updates to all components that are required to be updated or installed. The same can be applied to the Manage Configuration Wizards page, the Manage Dashlets page, and the Manage Plugins page, where you can manage the installation and updates of the various wizards, dashlets, and plugins that are implemented and can be implemented in Nagios XI. The Manage Graph Templates page is used to manage the templates that generate RRD tool performance graphs. The Manage MIBS page enables the admin to edit and upload MIBS that are installed on the server. The Scheduled Backups page can be used by admins to schedule backup settings for your Nagos XI server, editing FTP, SSH, or local backups. And finally, the Local Backup Archives, which enable the admin to edit and create local backups that exist on the Nagos XI server.